What's up everybody, my name is Arkin Keyblade and today we are back with another Kingdom Hearts character profile and we are keeping on with the organization members and we are going with probably the second most prominent of the organization members and that is Zigbar, the second in command of Zimnis. And he's a little different than a lot of the organization members because he actually kind of starts out with Xehanort and helps him with his plans but I will get to that more in a minute and yeah, let's get into his profile. Have you been a good boy? Zigbar, or Bray, his whole self, is Xehanort's second in command and organization member number two. And he appears in the manga and in 358 by 2 days, Kingdom Hearts 2, Dream Drop Distance, and as Bray in Birth by Sleep. And for his story, as Zigbar, it starts in 358 by 2 days, where he travels with Roxas a few missions, and other than having a short fight with Xion, who Zigbar sees as Ventus, he doesn't do much else. But he actually appears in a cutscene in 2.5 that takes place before 358 by 2 days, where he talks to Sexion about his knowledge of the events about Ventus, Aqua, and Terra in the events before they found Terranort. And also him hearing Zimnus conversing with someone in the chamber of repose. But in Kenrush 2, he only appears a few times to taunt Sora. But at the end, in the world that never was, we see him come face to face with Sora, and they then fight, where Zimnus Zigbar is then defeated and disappears. In Dream Note Distance, Brig is reformed, with taking to being one of the vessels to Master Xehanort. He denounces his name and takes up his nobody's name, Zigbar. And in Dream Drop Distance, he appears to Sora in the world that never was, and he then explains the region in which Sora got to the world that never was, and that him and the other vessels have been controlling where Sora went, and Sora is then captured by young Xehanort. He then later shows up to Sora in his deep slumber, and explains the plans that Master Xehanort has, and that Zigbar is one of the 13 vessels for Master Xehanort's heart, and that he and the other vessels are going to try to make Sora into the 13th vessel. And after Sora tells him off, he disappears where he does show up later in the circle room with the other vessels, and helps to try to stop Sora from escaping. But a lot of his story actually happens as Bray. In Birth by Sleep, he worked with Master Xehanort to try to form the Keyblade, and at first helping to trigger the darkness inside Terra by fighting and acting like he captured Master Xehanort, and it is hinted that he might have wanted the Keyblade from Terra, but it is unknown if that is true. The next time we see him is in the Keyblade Graveyard, where he seems to have had Master Xehanort's heart placed in him due to the yellow eyes and pointed ears, but he then tries to get Aqua to turn on Terra because he helped kill Ericus, but she refuses and Break fights Aqua, and after the battle they find out Break was just a distraction and he then escapes. Later Break finds or leads Wise Ansem to Terranort, where Master Xehanort has taken over Terra's body, and Break later talks to him to find out that Terranort has no memories of being Master Xehanort. But Brig says that he has his back and will fulfill his backup plan. Sometime after Birth by Sleep, Brig becomes an apprentice to Ansem the Wise, and Terranort and Brig work on the experiments that lead to the creation of the Heartless in the Realm of Light. And Ansem the Wise finds out and wants the experiments to stop. But one day, Terranort starts attacking the other apprentices with Master Xehanort's Keyblade, turning them into Heartless, and then the nobodies of Organization 13. And this goes for Bray too, who wonders if Terranort had gotten his memories back, but then gets stabbed in the heart. And then after, Zigbar helps to form Organization 13. And that is it for his background for now. And he is voiced by James Patrick Stewart in English, in Hochu, Otsuka, in Japanese. And that is it. Zigbar is a cocky yet prideful character who is pretty calm in most situations, and he likes to taunt Sora a lot almost every time he sees him, and he does this most likely to mess with his head, calling multiple times Roxas and also referring to Ventus and the others at times when talking to him, knowing very well that he doesn't know who they are. He seems to also be nosy, and a lot of times goes off of emotion even as a nobody, he follows his instincts. He also follows a lot of conversation with sarcasm and some wit when talking to others, somewhat like Axel, and says as if a lot. And yet we rarely see him get serious, even when dying. He does get off put one time seen when Stora states that his friends are his power. He also used nicknames a lot, calling Xion Poppet in Roxas Kiddo at times. And we even see he has a lack of care for a lot of the members. He also seems to know a lot about the organization due to his ability at spying. Noted that he spied on Zimnus in the Chamber of Repose, where he seemed to be talking to no one. 
and it seems that he doesn't care for sitting still, and goes on missions even though he is a high-ranking member of the organization. He lastly overall, especially as, as Brake, has somewhat of a closer relationship to Xehanort and doesn't seem to fear Xemnas like other organization members do. This is most likely due to either being part of Xehanort or due to his past with Master Xehanort and being used to his presence. As Zigbar, he like all the other organization members, he has a black coat, but he also has yellow eyes and pointed ears, meaning that he has been norted, and he also has a scar and a patch gotten from when fighting Terra when he was break. He also has a long black hair with grey streaks and is held together by a tie. As Brake, he, before he is norted, has brownish looking eyes with only a scar and an eye patch after fighting Terra. And he has slick black hair and his outfit has a red scarf with almost a blue military coat and shirt with buttons and white gloves with high black boots. And that is pretty much it for his design. Zigbar has a very unique fighting style using dual arrow guns called the sharpshooters that shoot a barrage of red darts that seem to follow the targets and sometimes one giant blue dart that keeps ricocheting and moving even when hitting walls. As Brake, he seems to shoot purplish darts instead of red. He also has a teleporting power where he can traverse through space very fast, even just teleporting part of his body too. And he can also change the stages as seen only in Kingdom Hearts 2. With using these weapons, he has extreme accuracy, seen multiple times and just shooting random heartless in just cutscenes. He can also aim very fast. In 358 by 2 days, he has a limit break called Critical Snipe, where he enters into an FPS mode and shoots large arrow darts at enemy, and it can hurt and stun the enemies. And in the final limit, the bullets are spheres and they are faster and stronger. He also goes into seemingly invincible glowing mode once he starts losing and get and when it gets to a certain point in his health, where he shoots a barrage of darts at Sora. He can also use a scope on guns to zoom and shoot at his targets. In 358 by 2 days birth by sleep in the Japanese version of Kingdom Hearts 2, he combines his two guns into one creating a sniper-like weapon, and is kept out of the English version for censorship reasons, and also the scope when zoomed in is also changed for censorship reasons. And the enemies that he commands are called sniper nobodies, who are very similar to him, yet weaker. Lastly, we never see him actually fight any other enemies in the organization, but we do see that he loses to Sora, and as Brig, I would say he keeps up with Aqua until he escapes, and he also is able to take out a multitude of Heartless at a time. To me, Zigbar is one of the more fun of the organization members, and he is fun to hate as a villain because of the personality that he has. Also, fighting him is pretty enjoyable too. But that is it for my analysis of Zigbar. Tell me what you think of him, and yeah, my name is the Arcane Keyblade, and I will see you all in the next video. Oh, also, tell me who you all want me to do next for the organization members. But that's it. See you in the next video. Peace out.